rolling. Hey, so here we are we're at the uh, Kids Village Collaborative Garden, uh, soon to be Kids Village Collaborative Garden number one, because we're starting another one uh, very shortly, uh, close by. And uh, this is our monthly board meeting. So there's lots going on. We're just back from the summer, getting things ramped up again. Um, several of us have gotten the neighborhood small grants. Um, I got a seed saver grant uh, for the Dunbar area. I have a small grant for um, the Main Street Food Network that we want to establish and some asset mapping going along with that. So we're excited about that on Main Street. Yeah, Diane, you got a grant too. Yeah, and um, yeah, canning workshop in the Cedar Cottage area. And I'm a new board member, new, the secretary, new secretary. <laughs> So we've been mostly running on people power in Village, but as, like, as we like to say, we're not adverse to, to money, so we're putting it to good use. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of our members have gotten uh, neighborhood small grants, uh, green grants and community grants, uh, several seed saving projects and collaborative garden projects. In fact, we're starting a, um, we just, uh, we were approved over the summer by the Parks Board, a uh, five year, uh, we're going to have a five year contract to start a, a community garden in Grandview Woodland, so we're excited about that. Emergency preparedness is also an area where we're getting some grants. Um, we got a grant for from Dunbar, and uh, that's for the DEEP, the Dunbar Earthquake and Emergency Preparedness. And we now have a KEEP program as well, which is the Kitsilano Earthquake and Emergency Yeah, oh, and we got a grant for that too. We got a grant for that as well. So we're really starting to roll, and the whole purpose of that is to really build community resilience around um, the idea of being more prepared. And it, it helps us bridge gaps um, we really get across a wide range of, of um, people who might not necessarily um, join Village Vancouver, um, but they're really interested in preparedness, so it gives us an opportunity to get out into the broader community and bring in some people that we wouldn't normally um, have an opportunity to get to know. we got a big uh, neighborhood potluck coming up, too. We have the third neighborhood potluck, referred to as the Neighbor Saver. Uh, two years ago it had 200 plus people. It was a banging event with music and food coming out the walls. It was wonderful. It's what sparked my personal interest in Village Vancouver and now I'm on the board. It's going to come up in October or November. We're looking at, still looking at dates. It's going to be at Heritage Hall, Citywide Pollock. Anybody involved in Village Vancouver, come on out. Hoping to have more music, kid stuff. Uh, community tables and really thinking about how we can get our Village Vancouver members out and doing projects in our community. And uh, I don't know if you mentioned it, but uh, zero waste or as close to it as possible, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And I counted last time, we actually were close to 300. Close Not to at all one time because you can only fit 275 Two, legally, but right. there were about 300. <laughs> it, was a, it was a great event. Yeah, we got a lot of, uh, what have you been involved in? Well, I've been involved with uh, the FEDA uh, working group, so working on a food and energy decent action plan for um, Vancouver. And right now we are collaborating to get a brown bag uh, lunch going on with, to invite a lot of uh, local organizations in and try to build some capacity with um, some of that. I think Ross and Anna both helped out with that as yeah. well. So this really will be nice. our fourth event, I think. Yes, that's correct. That's right. Yeah. So we're really building some capacity and we've really come a long way in, in defining the shape of the energy descent action plan around the food, food aspect. So that's going to be around how do we live well with a lot less uh, fossil fuels. Yeah. yeah. How do we feed ourselves? How do we feed fossil ourselves? Fuels in our feet. But there's, a, there's a lot of great things going on Main Street um, next Saturday. This coming up Saturday is the Autumn Shift Festival. Broadway to 12, there's a lot of just things around autumn and sustainability is the theme. Village Vancouver will have a table there every month on Main Street. The first Tuesday of every month we have a potluck and workshop at Little Mountain Neighborhood House in collaboration with them. October is going to be a uh, book swap and a clothing swap. So bring your books or your clothes that you want to trade with your neighbors and bring some food that you want to share and it's going to be a good time. So we do that every month, first Tuesday of every month. And there's also, lastly, there's a bike maintenance party that we've been putting on. Um, check our website for, for when the next one of those is going to happen. 
A lot of stuff happening in a lot of other villages too. Uh, Hastening Sunrise has a, um, a seed library. It's actually in Kawasa neighborhood house. And uh, West End uh, has a, uh, in conjunction with the West End Neighborhood Food Network and Recycling Alternative, we run a weekly uh, food scrap drop spot at the West End Community Center. That's been going since June. Uh, I don't know how many pounds so far we've diverted, but we're getting more and more neighbors uh, dropping off their compost there. Kidsville, as we got a ton of stuff going on, uh, we're, as a, this is our collaborative garden, we're starting another one. We have um, two permaculture gardens, and we're looking at doing a third one. Um, we're starting a sew-op, so it's going to be kind of like a tool library, but around sewing. So if anybody wants to donate some sewing machines, so we can put you in touch with the right person. We're running a plastic uh, recycling depot for stuff that the city doesn't take, like styrofoam. We have canning groups, seed saving. Uh, Drop-in spaghetti nights is the fun one. We're right in the middle of that, where uh, people host. Uh, we have 12 different people hosting in different parts of kids, uh, and we invite people that live within two blocks of them to come. So it's a great way for neighbors to meet one another and to start other projects. Uh, sustenance festival at the West End at the the Roundhouse in October. Uh, we're going to have a big display there, and part of that will be a um, evening uh, to kind of celebrate the creation of the, the local, the Parks Board Local Food Assets Task Force, <laughs> of which Village is only one of three um, non-city related uh, groups to be invited to participate in. And the event, uh, I think it's October 18th or 19th, is called Check Out Your Asset, Check Out Our Assets. <laughs> and Village will be creating a 800 square foot um, demo, demo sustainable uh, food neighborhood. So we're really excited about that. And all sorts of other activities, backyard chicken workshops. You name it, we're doing it. <laughs> Check out the events page on our website. It is full, full of many different wonderful events, some Village Vancouver, others from amazing other events going on around the city. Yeah.